Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. All right, the heavy rains are falling across parts of the state right now. I had a report of flash flooding uh, northwest of Haley, four miles northwest of Haley, a report of a debris flow. Uh, that's prompted the flash flood warning. That's in effect. I'll show you that coming up in a moment. I want to show you a view from the tower cam now. Got the tower cam pointed towards the northeast. Okay, this is from downtown Boise. Bronco Stadium's around the corner over here. The skies are darkening here above Horseshoe Bend Hill. It's quite dark, and you go further to the north, and there's some torrential rain that is falling in Garden. Valley had a report of 65 hundredths of an inch of rain in 30 minutes. So that's a rate of an inch and a half of rain per hour. And that rain that is over Garden Valley in Boise County is coming straight from north to south or north northeast to south southwest. It has a beeline right for northern Ada County. Again, no radar to track this because the radars are down due to the fact that the flooding in Colorado has severed a major transmission line. No radar for all of Boise for anyone, not even the Weather Service employees, not in Pocatello or in Salt Lake City. So we're kind of flying blind here, just looking at satellite pictures like we did back uh, generally in the 70s and 80s and even in the early 90s here in the Treasure Valley. Want to switch uh, I'm going to switch this over here uh uh, there it is right there. Well, let's come back over and take a look at the uh, radar. Uh, this is the flashlight warning area. This is the burn scar again just to the west of Ketchum. It includes Haley right here four miles northwest of Haley reported some debris flows and there's very heavy rain falling over this area right now. And again, it is going to continue. I want to show the satellite picture. I'll kind of zoom on into our area and look at the Treasure Valley right in here. This is Boise right in this region right here. This is very heavy rain. Notice this rain is tracking north to south. It's coming right for the Treasure Valley and there's an aerial flow Flood war, uh, advisory in effect here right now. But the center of the circulation is right over here. So where I have the cursor, that's the Sun Valley area. The rain just continues to fall over the same areas. And that is a dangerous uh, precedent when you have that occurring, especially with no radar to track it. Difficult for the Weather Service employees to issue flash flood warnings with the degrees of certainty because of that. And so all these clouds bubbling up in the visible satellite are heavy rain. And this is tracking in our direction. OK, let's switch computers. Take a look at the temperatures outside right now, sitting at 81 in Boise. So it's fairly warm and it is comfortable where the rain is not falling. But again, I expect rain to move in. If it holds together coming out of Boise County right in here, it'll push down towards the Ada County here in the next maybe hour. Might take a little bit longer to get down to downtown Boise. Let's hope it breaks apart and we don't get the flash flooding, but we're going to have to watch this closely. Here's our flood watch, flash flood watch in effect until 11 o'clock tonight for the Central Mountains and also the highest elevations down to the south and southeast Idaho as well. As everything is circulating around this low pressure, which has just been creeping to the north here, and it is bring, again beginning to bring that precipitation down from the north. So we'll have to continue to watch this throughout the evening for the potential for more flash flood warnings. And maybe even for Ada County, we may have some very heavy rain. It's supposed to be warm and dry, but it is to our west. It'll get warmer and drier as we head through the upcoming weekend. Treasure Valley forecast looks like this. About 90 degrees for that temperature in Ontario, 86 in Emmett. It looks like we'll see those high temperatures stay in the warm side throughout the weekend. Still a chance for a shower coming up for tomorrow. In the west central mountains, temperatures near 80 in Long Valley in the 70s in some locations, but all in all, we're still talking about the potential for showers in the mountains this weekend. My extended forecast in the 80s, and again, it should dry out as we go through the weekend and get cooler as we head towards the middle part of next week, which is good news. Uh, we have to watch tonight. This is going to be exactly. important here. And a lot of those folks at Boise St uh, Bronco Stadium could be getting some, uh, some rain a little while. I'm going to try to track this as best we can without the radar. Thanks, Scott. We you appreciate bet. it. So she's best known as the former husband.